Trains for moving players, belts for moving items. This is episode two of my Create Mode survival series. In this episode, we're gonna make our first working Create Mode factory, but more on that soon. Because when we ended up the last episode, I was jealous of Safdis and Cactus because they had bases and I did not, but look at me now. Okay, it's not really finished. But yeah, I have to do something about the outside here. It looks too empty, too dumb, too good. This is, yeah, this is better. While I was building this, I ran into an issue. See, in the bottom left, you can see that I only have 14 stakes left. Those are the only 14 stakes I have. And after that, I am all out of food and it turns out everyone else is too because i wanted to steal some and no one has food i think maybe i didn't check alvin's just maybe he he's got wow three raw chicken that is great so we definitely have a food problem on the server and i think my goal for today's episode will be to make a cow farm that feels like the only reasonable thing to do here but before i do that i'm gonna make some streets and here they are this looks pretty good <coughs> Do you like the transitions? I like them, I think. It's going to be a square of roads, and I just realized that leaves an empty space in the middle, and this empty space will be enough for a cow farm. And that is the fence done. There, well, there we go. I'm going for a factory look sort of thing, and I'm not sure if that'll fit in, because we're like, it's a city, and there are houses and stuff. Then again, this is my base. I, I So the plan is to build a big factory on the right-hand side, and then a shop on the left-hand side. Over here, the production will happen, and over here, the selling will occur. And while all of that is great, fun, and nice, I am the only one on the server right now, and I want to finish this before anyone gets on. And I think Cactus will be here in an hour. I don't know if anyone else will join before that. I hope not, because I want them to join. I want them to see this massive factory, and I want them to uh, buy steak from me. So I get rich. Based the yeah. You know what? I like this a lot. Maybe I should have built the interior before I built the exterior. Because I'm not sure if what I want to make will fit inside of the building. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see because I really need to finish this. Cactus is almost home. There we go. The first factory of the series is complete. We will have infinite steak. This is awesome. And you can stop the music because I'm completely lying. It's not finished. It's just a shell. There's no factory inside. It doesn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, but there's something I have to do before I finish this. Okay, this is more important than cactus, than anything, than food. The roads. We're running out of space. And I need to fix that before we do anything else. So I'm taking a small break from the steak factory to figure out a plan. This place is kind of complicated. There's a height difference. So this level here is where Albin's base is and then our base on top. It's a lot. So if we're going to make this into a big, nice city, I need to figure out all of the dimensions and stuff and Y levels and things. So here's what I'm thinking right now. This road here will go up to here. There will be a railroad right here. So we'll go over the tracks and then we'll be able to go down here. And this staircase will go to the same level as the dirt right there. I want that to be the level of the street and everything. You know what? It's all very hard to explain. So I'll just show you. Oh, no. Oh no. The whole idea behind all of this would be that I make the factory and I expand the city. I give more space for us to build on. It was going to be this whole big thing and then... Oh yeah, there we go. There he is. All right, let me call. Cactus! Oh. You're back. Yeah? Anyways, <laughs> I have I have something to show you. Stop, 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 don't walk further. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. No, okay. stop! Hear me out. I have made something and I think you're gonna like it. But it's not 100% finished. So we're just gonna have to pretend like I finished. Just follow me. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what do you think? That's nice. Cactus's lack of enthusiasm was soul crushing for me. I spent so much time working so hard on this relatively simple build with no actual function. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm going to use this very sad moment to guilt trip you into subscribing. Nothing makes me more motivated to keep making these videos than seeing people enjoy them. So if you're thinking to yourself, hey, I like watching this, then don't forget that a subscribe means a lot to me. Even though YouTube made the subscribe function pretty much useless over the past couple of years and there's no real My plans were too ambitious. I wanted to make this factory, finish everything, have it up and running and also expand our our, our town so we have more space to build all before you got back and it as you can see i have failed. <laughs> but you know what it's actually kind of good that you're here because you can help me maybe you can yeah, i just sure. i just assumed I... I just assumed. step number one we need to get one shoot one clutch apparently 31 cow spawn eggs but i don't think you can i have that in my backpack what a shoot and a clutch. no yeah, way wait so let cool. me let me make a chest and we can put the things in the chest here we go. One shoot. One shoot. Great stuff. Okay, and after that, we need two brass funnels. Uh, I have an underside funnel and the brass funnel. 
Nice. We need take two breasts. Take it or leave it. <laughs> <laughs> take it or leave it. <laughs> okay, next no, items. No. We need one breast casing. I have that. You have that? You are doing... Wow. We're gonna have to have a 50-50 split ownage of this factory of steak. You've done so much for this company already. I made the cannon. Apparently we need... What did you just... What the fuck? Okay, you go and make the deployers and then I can make six encased fans. By the way, you, yeah, your your base is looking... Mm. My elevator is not working. What? My elevator is not working. Your elevator? Oh, I mean... Yeah, I have two elevators. What the f this Is this the elevator? Okay. It's literally no, working. No, yeah, no, this is the elevator. The bench? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is elevator. The dining table is the elevator? But it's not working. I have a secret button and stuff, you know. Oh, you were serious? I thought you were joking. Wait, but let's fix it then. I want to see the secret passageway. Where does it... I have a bad way to go. But a bad way? It's oh. just... It's just it's <laughs> Oh, look, it's the oh. empty space that we just created when we moved here. <laughs> My super smelter just okay. abandoned in a corner. Albins, Albins windmills. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, okay. What? Yeah, this is... You've uh, done so much. This has been here for a while. As you see, the copper has oxidized. Oh, a tree form. You're feeding yeah. this blaze burner with oak logs, which is a smart way of doing it. Nice, but he's not fed and it is dead. Okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah, that's why the elevator doesn't work because it's dead. I'm not going to be able to put this into the video cactus. I'm going to have to fast forward because we are nerding out over the steam engine right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, um, it's, it's working. working. Okay, so we go up the boring way because we need That's to have the... Uh, okay, boring way. Yes, coming. Isn't this dangerous? If I stand here, there's an elevator that just completely crushes me. To the okay, how does this work? Bring me down. You sit down. And okay. Then... Oh! <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever... <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, Wait, we didn't see this. Where... We were behind this door. Oh, I was so confused. I thought we'd go down like behind here. Like, but oh. no, okay. What? What's this place? This is uh, my basement. Oh, you've got everything here. Okay. Info for the steam engine. Stress info. Uh, chests. Nuggets. Yeah, no, that's not finished yet. Okay. Uh, mechanical crafter. Nice. This and the super smelter. Yeah, I mean, I'm very disappointed in myself now because I have a terrible windmill and uh, this. This is everything I have. Sad and disappointed in how much cactus had progressed, I started building the factory. And this is what it looks like now. It is far from finished. It is not working. It's not turned on. And we have a grass floor. So, <laughs> but this is very, very overcomplicated. We don't need this. I could have made this into a 4x4x4 four by four by four block farm where it just kills the cows brutally. And we... But that's no fun. I want this to look like a factory. Feel like a factory. I want you to be able to walk into here and just... Smell the fear in the cows. In here, there will be cows in this two by two area. These deployers here will feed the cows wheat. And when cows are given wheat, they do funny things and babies appear. So imagine there's a bunch of cows in here, right? They're closed in. They make bebe and then these fans are turned on. So the babies will blow out over here and onto this belt. See, only the babies can get out of here and the adults will be stuck. Babies go out here. They get transported all the way over here where they meet their worst nightmare, a fan. Or well, not really a fan, so to speak, but as soon as we place lava in front of the fans, then it's a cow's worst nightmare. It's my worst nightmare too. It's going to be horrible, but it is going to give us food. So as soon as they pass away, their items go into this funnel here. They get stored in this item vault, and then I can just pick it out by deactivating this lever here. It'll drop out stacks of, of steak. I want this to be a fully automated experience, so people can just walk in, drop their diamond somewhere, and then boom, bam, bam, they'll be given their steak somehow, maybe from a dropper or... Ooh, we could use a mechanical arm. Oh, I got an idea now. That's gonna be cool. But before I make the shop, I need to make the factory itself, and before I make the factory itself, I need to show you something. Because there, <laughs> yeah, there is something we have to talk about here. The elephant in the room, so to speak. So you might not know this, but this episode has taken me two weeks to make so far. Don't ask me why, this is what I've made in two weeks. <laughs> but in those two weeks, a lot of things have changed, and it's been kind of hard for me to make the recordings make sense, because things change, and I say, th it's weird. But anyways, Jojo has joined the server, so he set up camp over here. This is his little base thing. Cactus has progressed on his base, and he's made this thing up here. It looks a bit like Wally. And and then finally, the elephant. This is Whisper Space. I don't know if he was in the first episode or not, but he's here. Yeah, this is his base. Here we go. This is the top. It's a work in progress. He's not finished yet, but this thing is... Well, it's impressive and it makes me sad. <laughs> There's so much going on. So basically, everyone else progresses faster than I do. Whisper's base, Cactus base, apparently it's got a basement thingy down there, very cool. Oh, and all I've got is this useless base and a steak factory that's not even a factory yet. Let's make it a factory, shall we? 
You know what? I actually uh, actually feel kind of bad for them. They have everything set up now to make this work. It just needs one thing, and that is rotation. Now, we don't need a lot of it. We only have a couple deployers, some fans, mechanical belts, but I still think it's time we make our first steam engine, which also happens to be the one thing I know the least about. I mean, I know how a steam engine works. You need a fluid tank, a steam engine, and a shaft. These are the very, very basic things needed for a steam engine. And now we need to heat it from underneath, and we'll do that with a blaze burner. And this blaze burner needs to be heated, right? And we can do that with coal, we can do it with oak planks, but I'm in creative, so I'm gonna use this, a creative blaze cake, and it's just gonna make it go forever. And then the plan is to make this thing self-sufficient. So this thing will pump in water into the steam engine itself, making it spin, making it pump, making it spin, making it pump, and since we can have infinite water in Minecraft by only doing like this, it's gonna go forever, hopefully, without even thinking of stopping. This hand crank is just to start it up, and then it should be going on its own. Please, please, please. I just want this to work. Wait, is it going? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's going. I didn't even realize. Okay, nice. Uh, but, but, but there was 16,000. Oh, my guy, that's because we have the blaze burner in sicko mode. Uh, you know what? I think this is enough. So let's put this into a schematic and then head over to the server and build it over there. Let's put it. Oh, I know how we'll do this. Rotate, and then we put it against the wall. Then we can have a little window right here that lets you see the steam engine that powers the, the whole place. Up. Yeah! And so we need water. I am very good at completely forgetting everything I need to remember. There we go. Puddle collector and the powerhouse. This is the worst. <laughs> but you know what? It works. We just need to get this rotational force over there and we're good to go. This thing will start. No, oh, I keep making mistakes. Oh, this is embarrassing. We need to make a wheat farm. Well, how did I not even think of that? We need, obviously, to feed the cows wheat. We need to have wheat. I don't have any wheat. Look at the deployers. They're just placing out nothing on the <laughs> nice! I, I guess I'm making a wheat farm then. All right, I am progressing on the build. It is kind of sad that I'm building it here because this is the backdrop. Uh, <laughs> I need to finish this right now because if you look on the bottom left corner, that is the last stake. Uh, anyways, here's the idea. I want to produce and sell wheat over here so people can go in and buy wheat and I will also produce it in this building and then it gets transported via mechanical belts or something all the way up here into my factory. So a two in one, we get wheat for the factory and I'll sell it for a profit. Okay, so how this works is we have the windmill bearing in the center, a radial chassis on top and then you have these mechanical harvesters. So these will spin around in a circle using the power of the wind even though we're inside and that makes no sense. And that should be everything finished and ready to up. Look at that. It is moving and it is harvesting. This is looking great. We just need to hoe all of this and plant our seeds. Then it's only the transportation system left. It's 5 a.m. and I have fixed food in Minecraft. I haven't eaten in real life for hours, but I did fix my Minecraft food issue. Or well, not really, but all that's needed is this gearbox right here. So in three, two, one, boom. That should be, that is the wrong way. Okay, there we go. That's it. Mechanical belt that runs if we head out of here. Yeah, look at that. This mechanical belt will transport the wheat from our factory all the way up to our other factory. All we have to do now is wait for the first batch of wheat to arrive and then we should see some action over here. Here's the wheat. Let's shoot it down. Yes, there you go. Uh, oh no. So they might be dying. I am not sure. Have we seen? Oh no. Uh oh Okay, so it's been a while, and as you can see, I only have one heart remaining. But we've had our first batch of wheat delivered, cows have been born, and I am now eagerly awaiting their... Uh, oh. So all I have to do now is wait for some steak to be produced and make the shop. And speaking about the shop, I have an idea I've wanted to make for a really long time now. So here's a depot. You can place items on depots, and they will just be there. And the mechanical arm can pick up and deposit items from depots. So if we do this and then power it with a cogwheel and a creative motor, this mechanical arm will now pick up this coal ore and place it on the other depot. Very nice. So my plan is to have the payment on this depot right here. The arm will pick it up and as soon as it picks it up it will also give you half a stack of steak. <laughs> okay here we go. I've got a setup here. This is the payment depot. This is where I put my diamond. And when I put my diamond here it goes through this smart chute. This thing gets activated which activates. Oh no it should be that. I made a mistake. Here we go. This barrel holds all of my steak and it is trapped in there. It can't get out because this redstone torch is powering this funnel so it doesn't go out onto this depot. Now whenever I pay one diamond here we should should see 32 stake go onto that depot. Oh, is that 32? Wait, 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 wait,
happening? It's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Wow, I got it on camera. There it is. Why are there? Whoa. Uh... So I'm working on the shop thing over here. And how come you're all stuck? And why is it not going into the thing? Oh, because I need two chain drives right there. You. There we go. <laughs> I did it! It's done! It is finished 100%! Why is this taking me so long to make? I don't know. How does it feel now that Charles is finally finished with the steak factory? Well, it feels absolutely amazing. Me and the kids have missed him while he's been out working hard and it'll mean the world to us when he gets back home. I really hope everyone that watches him subscribes to him. He really deserves it. <laughs> Imagine if you subscribe. Hey, subscribe to Charles. <laughs> It's not 100% finished. I mean, I have some, some details to do in here. It's kind of boring. There is a cow that has escaped. All I have to do is drop one diamond on here and it will disappear. And the mechanical arm will not give me my 32 steak. All right, now we should get half a stack of steak. Yeah! Boom. I think it's even, maybe it's got more. Oh yeah, there already 32 more steaks. Okay, yeah, I'm not complaining. Yep, putting that into the system right now. Thank you so much for watching this video. It took me a while to make. I don't know why this took me two weeks to make, but for some reason, I mean, it did, okay. Okay.